Hi, I'm Rebecca Malone with Malone Hatley PC. Today I want to talk to you about protecting your children through a divorce or custody case. A lot of the time, parents want to do what's right for their children. They want to talk to them about what's going on. They want to make sure their children's voices are heard through the process. Ultimately, that can have a negative impact depending on what you talk to them about and what they end up saying in court. Involving them too much in the process can expose them to negative information about the other parent, it can ne negatively impact your relationship with your children, and it can hurt the outcome of your case. The first step is to understand the situation that you're in. Make sure that you're not doing anything too outside the realm of what's normal for your children as you start into this process. The second step is to make a plan. If you're intending on moving out, Doing it abruptly can obviously have a negative impact on your children, on your relationship with the other parent, and your financial situation. While you're going through a divorce, you want to strive for continuity. Making changes to the children's daily schedule, their schools, and other major life changes can have a negative impact. You want to make sure not to move into a new situation that could be detrimental for your children. Moving in with strangers, roommates, even extended family members that the kids don't know can all be negative for your case. Before you start into a divorce or custody case, you wanna not move out of the house too quickly or too abruptly. Doing so might end up having a negative impact on your case. If the children are ordered to move back into the marital home, you might lose custody without even doing anything wrong. As you go into a divorce case, make sure you're not agreeing to something that you don't ultimately want to agree to. If the agreement seems like it's one-sided, unfair, or unrealistic, don't sign it. Make sure you understand your rights and you're making sure that you're protected at every step. If the children are old enough to understand that their parents are going through a divorce, you wanna to talk to them and be supportive. Make sure not to disparage the other parent or make any negative remarks about why you're going through the divorce but be understanding with your child that they know what's going on in the household. As you're going into a divorce, it's essential that you not have unrealistic expectations. Almost no one walks out of the courthouse 100% happy with the outcome of their case. You're going to win some issues and you're going to lose some issues. As you go into your divorce or custody case, be careful about what you put in writing. Even text messages, emails, and any other communication between you and the other parent can later be used against you. If it looks like you're withholding the children or refusing to cooperate with the other parent, that can have a negative impact on you later on in the case. Finally, the most important tip is not to give up. If you're fighting for custody of your child, make sure you don't give in too easily to a bad situation or something that's gonna be harmful to your children in the long run. Thank you for reaching out to our office. Don't forget to download your free resource that we hope can help you as you navigate your divorce or custody case. If you need more information, please give our office a call.